<sighs> Next up, Michigan State. The Michigan State Spartans, 7-6 and six last year. Returning starters, they got nine back on offense, eight on defense. That is absurd. Number eight nationally in experience returning. Number one in the conference. Their over-under is eight. The over is minus 130. The under is plus 110. Here's the deal. An elite defense coming back. They've got a healthy, capable quarterback with Brian Lewerke. Um, I mean, th- this team is going to be good enough to give anybody trouble. Injuries cost 10 offensive starters to miss 48 games last year. That resulted in the Spartans ranking number 117 in the nation in total offense. They uh, they were number 10 in the country in total defense. This is... I mean, and, look, they, and they got all these dudes coming back. They... They scored seven points or less in, let's see, one, two, three, four of their last seven games. That is insane. That is just absolutely insane. They lost six to seven to Oregon. They lost at Nebraska nine to six. They lost to Ohio State 26 to six. They lost to Michigan 21 to seven. Like, yes, those are all. Pretty difficult defenses, right? But if they if they get ten points, but, if they get to double digits, they're a but, nine win listen, team. Listen, this team scored six points on Nebraska. That's right. That is bad. It's really, really bad. Really bad. So while it is good that Lewerke's coming back, you know, at the time I thought, all right, Rocky Lombardi, like he's going to be able to do something here. He wasn't. Like it, it, there's, they got Connor Hayward back. They got Lewerke back. They got Cordy White back as a wide receiver. The offensive line, they got a ton of those guys back. Defense, I mean, they are just stacked. Uh, Josiah Scott is going to be D'Antonio's next great cornerback. Uh, I'm telling you, you would think that they are like a dark horse, right, for the Big Ten, like for this division, right? I don't know that I really buy into that. I think the schedule is really difficult. I've got them eight and four this year. I've got them right on that over under of eight. Tell me, where do you have them? I got them nine and three. I love this team. I do think they have a really hard schedule. They're at Ohio State. They're at Northwestern. They're at Michigan. They're at Wisconsin. Those are four really hard road games. They've got a bye week before Penn State comes to visit, that's and right. then a bye week after that. Yeah, that's like that, that's just it hurts a weird. That their bye weeks are almost back to back. Yeah, that doesn't help them at all. And, and it's just one of those things where those four road games, if they come away with one win out of those four, I think that's a winning season. I think, holy crap, we did something big. I think, yeah, I think it's successful. I think it's successful. Um, if they came away with two wins and they hit double digits, it's one of the best coaching jobs we've ever seen. Yeah. That's it. Their, their, so offense, Mike their offense last year, like, remember, they... They switched everything up on offense this year, but they kept all the same guys. Yeah, they just they just changed their positions around. Uh, look, last year they averaged just five point two yards per play on first down, which was one hundred nine in FBS and one point one gains per game of thirty plus yards. That was one hundred twenty six. They had neither efficiency nor explosiveness on which to lean. I I think even with bringing back like a healthy Lewerke and everything else, like remember all of these numbers are put in together. It's not like they were much better with him before he got hurt. So I don't know, man. I I think uh, I think this is an eight and four team. I think if they were ever going to have a breakthrough year, this would have to be the year. Like the the schedule is difficult. They don't need their offense to be monstrous. They don't need to score 40, 50 points a game. No, but they they just need to average like twenty two a game. Well, I, I'll tell you this: they did not give up. Uh, let's see, they gave up thirty one to Utah State in the first game, and did not give up that many points again for the rest of the season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they can average twenty four points a game, they're going to be almost impossible to beat. Yeah, they they averaged eighteen point seven last. I don't year. know that they can do that. <laughs> I don't. But I don't know. If now they I'm can. asking for a touchdown. Better. That's hard. It it is pretty difficult. All right, let's.